Welcome to the City News Bulletin. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Tuesday announced five more stimulus packages worth about Taka 3,200 crore to help low-income people hit hard by the ongoing restrictions imposed to check further transmission of the coronavirus. PM's Press Secretary Ahsanul Karim informed BSS of the matter. Under the new incentives, TK 450 crore has been allocated for day laborers, 1,437,389 transport workers, 235,033 small traders, 50,400 445, and shipping workers, 1,603, who will receive TK 2,500 each in cash. 203 people died from COVID-19 in 24 hours till 8 a.m. today, said a press release issued by the Directorate General of Health Services. The total number of COVID-19 deaths in the country now stands at 16,842 and the death rate stands at 1.61%. At least 12,198 new infections were recorded during the period, taking the total number of people infected to 1,047,155. Added the release, the current positivity rate is 29.21% while the total Total positivity rate stands at 14.84%. The Bangladesh government has decided to lift lockdown restrictions for nine days to allow people to celebrate the Eid al-Azhar, despite record numbers of new COVID-19 cases and deaths. Restrictions will be eased from midnight on July 14th to 6 a.m. on July 23rd, according to a notice issued by the Cabinet Division on Tuesday. But the public must remain alert and adhere strictly to health protocols, such as wearing masks, the government said, after the Eid holidays end, previous restrictions will again come into effect and remain in place until August 5th. At least 52 people died and 22 were wounded when a fire engulfed the coronavirus isolation ward of an Iraqi hospital on Monday. A health official said that the fire broke out at the Al Hussein Hospital in the southern Iraqi city of Nasiriya late Monday and was brought under control by local civil defense forces. A medical source with the health directorate told AFP the main reason behind the fire was the explosion of oxygen tanks. Hi Dar al Zamali. At least 52 people died and 22 were wounded when a fire engulfed the coronavirus isolation ward of an Iraqi hospital on Monday. A health official said that the fire broke out at the Al Hussein Hospital in the southern Iraqi city of Nasiriya late Monday and was brought under control by local civil defense forces. A medical source with the health directorate told AFP the main reason behind the fire was the explosion of oxygen tanks. Hi Dar al Zamali, the local health authority spokesperson, said early Tuesday 52 bodies were retrieved and another 22 people were wounded in the latest toll after the fire had ripped through the COVID isolation ward. Even under ordinary circumstances, feeding an Olympic village is a mammoth task, with chefs preparing tens of thousands of meals a day for elite athletes from around the world. But at Tokyo 2020, there's an added pressure. Strict coronavirus rules forbid athletes from eating at local restaurants, so it's their only chance to sample Japan's famous cuisine. I feel it's a lot of responsibility for us, admitted Sutomu Yamane, senior director of Tokyo 2020's Food and Beverages Services Department. We want them to enjoy Japanese food, but it's major pressure, he told. AFP. When Lionel Messi stepped off the field late Saturday night after the final of the Copa America, the Argentina captain, one of the most celebrated athletes in history, was, at long last, a champion in his national colors. He was also, only weeks after his 34th birthday, unemployed. Messi's talent has never been in question. A six time World Player of the Year, he is among the best players of his, or any generation. Messi wants to stay at Barcelona, the only professional home he has ever known, and Barcelona desperately wants to keep him. But the club's dire financial strength and a series of fateful decisions by team management, including the potentially disastrous one to let Messi's contract expire at the end of June, have imperiled what is arguably the most successful association between a club and a single player in soccer history. Listening to City News Bulletin. Thanks for staying with us.